How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial. If you're new to the series and new to the channel and you're wanting to learn how to stream and how to grow and deal with all the technical side of things, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the channel. If you're enjoying that content, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the viewer count and get that all set up. It's very simple to do. So what you're going to want to do is create a scene and then go over to sources. We're going to click on the plus and you're going to be looking for the viewer count, which is over here. So we're going to click on that. And this is basically what you're going to see. So whatever you're streaming on, it will show the icon and it will show how many people are watching and stuff like that. You can do this for YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer. So once you are ready to go ahead and add it, click Add Source, give it a name, Add Source, and now you'll get this little tiny window here. Now the green box, this is something that's not going to be shown on screen, but this will at least give you the preview window. You can adjust the width, height, and the frame rate. Frame rate is not not really that important, but the or the frames per second is not really that important. But the height and everything, basically, this is just the outer outer box that you see right here. So if I was to maybe bring the height down to say like a hundred, now it's a little bit smaller. If I bring this over and bring this over to like a hundred, now it's just this little tiny box here. That way you don't have all this extra like stuff that you can grab. But it just kind of brings this up here, but it doesn't like pixelate over here. So you're fine over here. Now on the font settings you can change all of the fonts that are basically given to you here and figure out like which one looks better for you so definitely go ahead and mess with that and then once you do find a font that you like let me go back up here I'm just gonna select one then it will change it for you you can also change the color and you can change the font size now if you're wanting to use any type of HTML or CSS unfortunately I don't have any type of information on how that would go about and how you can change it or anything like that so this I can't talk about but just setting this up on its own is perfectly fine so once you're okay with how everything is we'll go ahead and disable that real quick once you're okay with how everything is go ahead and hit done and then you can drag it anywhere you want you can grab the little anchor ha handles here or whatever you want to call them and you can drag it. Now the larger you make it of course is going to be more pixelated but just keeping it small and tucked somewhere on the screen like that is completely fine because that way it's not pixelating or anything like that for you. But that's pretty much how you set it up. Very simple to do and you can customize it very very little but it at least you know can display that for you and that way other people can see you know how many people are watching or if you want to have that for your own self to see but of course anything that gets thrown onto the scene is what's going to be shown for everybody else who is watching. So that is an option. If you do have a stream deck, you can actually use a viewer type of, um, I call it a widget, but you can basically use one of the sources on there that shows how many people are watching and stuff like that. That way it's to you if you really care about it, but that way you're not displaying how many people are watching. I usually see a lot of people use this whenever they are restreaming. That way they can show how many people are watching on which platform and stuff like that. That's fine too. But this is just a very quick way to kind of show how many people are watching the stream. But like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and talk to me inside the comments. You can join the Discord and be active over there as well. And we can talk about that and any other type of streaming tips for you. But I'm going to be creating more of these things for you guys to help you out. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. But I will catch you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.